Hi guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video today, I will be showing you how to contour and highlight your face. Very simple. All you're going to need is a um, bronzer or contour shade. I am using a stick foundation. It will be stick or powder. And all you need is a concealer to use for highlighter. Also, you can use one more other product that I will show you in the video. But before I get into the video, please hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you want me to do in my next video. And let's get on to it. Alright, so grab what you're going to use for contour. I'm using the match stick shade for um, Fenty Beauty. And I'm going to show you right now. I am going where you feel your cheekbone. And I am literally lining where the cheekbone is. I am taking it and dragging it down my face and lining it and I'm going from the hairline because that's where you want to start and I'm going to do the exact same on the other side now this cheekbone is a little bit different in my opinion so it's drawn on a little bit different and that's literally all you do for the cheeks and then you put however you want your forehead to be is how many lines you put on your forehead it's up to your choice what it does is it makes your forehead smaller and it doesn't make it bigger, but if you do it wrong, it could make it bigger. But this is how you make it smaller, and this is how you get a little button nose with using the contour. And this is a MAC oval brush, and I am just blending this all out, and it's very lightly, and you don't really see it. Contour is not really supposed to be like, oh, you can see the contour on your face. It's really supposed to be like, oh, she snatched her cheeks or her nose or her jaw because you can also make your jaw more defined if you add it in the jawline and I'm just blending it out because you don't want it to be seen at all so you just got blend 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 you also will be setting this with mine using the shade and light palette by Kat Von D and I'm using the shade shadow play because it's in between shade and it also can be used as a bronzer and I am using her shade and light a uh, brush. I am using the angled side because that's more for contour. You can really use it for blush, but I use it for contour because that's what she says to use it for. And when your contour line that you see, okay, that was way too much, but I will blend that out. This side is the side you want it to be like, not like the other side, but I'll blend it out, make it look more natural. And you put that wherever you put any of your contour so that it's set because I used a cream product. And I don't want it to go anywhere. So just like any other cream product, you set it. Like if you were to do highlighter, not highlighter, um, like concealer, you would set it with a setting powder or a different color. And I am just blending that away because it is too harsh. But sometimes that happens. So just blend and blend with a rough hand, soft hand. I'm just really trying to get that line to go away as you can see. Next thing I'll be doing is highlighting. And how you highlight is just add your concealer. So I'm using the True and Tried uh, Shade and Light. Not Shade and Light. Oh my gosh. This is a Tarte Shape Tape highlighter. I am putting that on the underneath of my eyes. On my forehead, I'll be putting it on my nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. Because these are the places you want to naturally highlight on your face. And you just use your... Um, concealer and if you want to extreme highlighted under eye what you do is you do a shade lighter you take a beauty blender and you blend that ish in we know this you blend it this is how you do your highlighter underneath your eyes it's called highlighting honestly if you want more of an intense one do a couple shades lighter than your foundation I just did a shade lighter than what my foundation is because that is what I want I also am not showing you how to cover up blemishes because it's not really a big deal of mine. Because if I, if I have one, it's not, it's okay, but this is because it's scabbing, so that's my fault. And then I'll be taking the Shade and Light palette again, and I'll be going in with the shade um, Lyric. That is the middle shade, and this is my setting powder for underneath my eyes. It is a banana color shade, so it's more neutral. And you press that into your eye. Do not wipe it. You press it. If you wipe it, you're going to move the concealer all over your face. And that is one thing that we do not want. I would recommend using the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D for this. Alright, so what I did is I put on some mascara and my eyebrows off camera. Because that's not what this video is about. It's very short and simple. But this is how you contour your face. And also I added more of a shade in the Shade and Light Palette. That would be a bronzing shade to... Um, give your skin a little bit more color 
Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would love to hear in the comment section what you guys want me to do next, please. Also, remember, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.